Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Scrubbed in USMLE series. And uh, today, our topic of discussion is going to be the USMLE preparation timeline that we followed in our third and fourth year of MBBS. I just want to take a moment and thank all of you for the great support that you have shown us, especially our colleagues at Ravalpini Medical University. I hope you continue to support us like that. So uh, now I would like to move on to the uh, real thing, which is the timeline. So I mean, if you could share the screen now. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do in this in today's video is that I'm going to tell you what we dead in our third year of MBBS and then we have developed a timeline which Ermin is going to explain. We have tried to make it really simple and really easy for you to understand. So because we have been receiving a lot of questions how uh, you're supposed to manage your time uh, while you're in your third year, while you're in your fourth year and give your uh, USMLE exam during uh, MBBS. So for third year, I would just like to uh, be comprehensive about it because the only thing we did in third year was that we were just using the right resources, nothing else. Uh, using the right resources means that you're studying for your USMLE and your uh, and your uh, medical college at the same time. You are attempting your modules if you're in RMU or in other medical colleges. You have your other exams. So you're preparing for both of them and you're attempting both of them at the same time. So you don't need to do anything extra. Just use the right resources. I'll just name the resources for, uh, for now and then we are going to explain them later on. The resources we used, the most important one, obviously, which everyone knows is Pathoma, which we used for our pathology uh, we were using sketchy for our microbiology uh, we did our immunology directly from first aid and um, for our um, pharmacology initially we did kaplan as we did as we weren't aware that we were supposed to do sketchy for that because if you do sketchy you are better prepared for step two as well so uh, we'll go into the details later on we were a bit late on sketchy so what we did was because there are 40 pre-prof holidays so we uh, used we did sketchy pharmacology in those days and then we had our prof afterwards obviously we entered fourth year and now uh, we will move on to the real timeline which Armin is going to explain and it will make things a lot easier for you so over to you Armin. okay so now we are going to be discussing what the actual timeline for this step one preparation was during fourth year and as you can see the majority of stuff the majority of revision that we did the majority of studying that we did occurred in fourth year so let's just begin by emphasizing on the fact that our exam was on the 16th of November 2022. And we are going to be talking about what well, we're going to be starting from February of 2022. Okay, so we're starting from over here in Feb and our exam is in November. So that's about nine months prior to the exam date. And this is I'm going to be addressing the things that we did. So let me just set the stage. What happened at this point was we had given the third prof exam. We had had the holidays from the third prof and we are now starting our fourth year. So we are in fourth year right now, February. What we started off by doing was we gave an AMBOS self-assessment. So what a self-assessment is before the actual preparation phase, AMBOS, Lecturio, I think Kaplan as well, they have a self-assessment week. During this week, they give you the opportunity to do a free assessment, which consists of four blocks. And at the end of that, they give you a score which shows you where you are with your step one preparation. So it was a confidence booster and that's something we recommend that you do before you begin your prep. Moving on, let's go into March. Now in March, on the 10th of March, so here we are here. On the 10th of March, we bought UWorld and we started doing the questions, but it wasn't very effective. And I'll get onto why that was in just a second. And I will always recommend that you buy UWorld and you use the online version because that's the most effective way to be studying. Okay, moving on, let's go on to April. Now, April, we've written here that this was the phase where, uh, this was Ramadan actually last year. And as you know, it can be a bit slow in Ramadan. It's very difficult to get into routine. But what we had done is we had formulated a routine. We were studying at, in the, during the night, actually, we were studying. What were we doing in Ramadan? Now, fourth year started. We've done third year prep, as Ahmed had explained. During Ramadan, what we did during the nighttime was we did pathoma and we did sketch pharmacology. Now, fourth year, in Pakistan, in MBBS, as most colleges I'm sure have, fourth year consists of in pathology, we study CNS, we study renal, repro, MSK, and derma. These were the modules that we had left to do. And we were de doing the pathoma, so the pathology stuff for it during Ramadan, we were studying ahead. And then you've got sketchy pharmacology. So for these respective modules, we also did the sketchy pharmacology videos. We'd gone through those the whole of Ramadan. So by the end of Ramadan, to be honest, we'd finished the fourth year course, we'd gone through it all at uh, once, 
Um, so we were good to go with U World now. As I would mentioned before, when we did when we started U World without any preparation, it was no point because we did not even know how to attempt the questions and the concept was very weak. So we had to do all of the preparation. We had to do all of the fourth year course first before we started U World. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, right, so now we are on May. May, as you can see, it was a very busy month for both of us. I had family from abroad and Hamza's brother was getting married. So honestly, we did nothing in May. May was absolutely static. We did not do anything. Um, so at this point, yeah, that's it really. That's what we are, well, that's where we are. Okay, moving on, June, July, and August. Now, these were the, that was, these were the main months we had, we, we had done most of our preparation. June, July, August, that was the chunk of our preparation. Call it the dedicated period if you want to, but this was where we had a routine. We were studying sort of religiously. We had disciplined ourselves, and this is what formed the main chunk of our preparation. So what we had started to do from the 5th of June, as you can see, from the 5th of June, we did one new world block per day with reviews and we had notes written down. Let me explain what that means. One new world block means we were doing 40 questions per day. In the evenings, we would do the reviews for those questions. Reviews consist of explanations where you would understand the concept that was being tested. You would refer back to your resources. So you would refer back to your persona, you would refer back to your first aid and re review those resources. And then for each question that we did, in a single line, so in one line summary, we would write down um, that on a separate piece of paper. And these formulated the notes which we will be referring to later on. So this is what we did throughout June, July, and most of September. Please be aware that for you world, you have a question bank of around 3,800 3, questions. And this formulates to around 95 blocks that you have to do. So if you're sticking to one block per day, that's 95 days. But of course, that's impossible to do in one go. So we had June, July, August, and most of September actually as well, where we did those 95 blocks. Um, you had days where obviously you had days you had to take off and you know you have other commitments going on as well. Throughout those months, that's what we stuck to and that's what we did. So the other information written in July and August, we'll come back to that at the end. Let's just move on to September now. So this is where we are at the moment. September 22nd, we have completed U World. We have done all 3,800 questions. We have uh, gone through the concepts. We're happy, right? So this is a good point. We've done all of that. When we'd finished that in September, we, have, we moved on to October and this was our self-assessment month. So what does this mean? Self-assessments are those tools that you use to assess yourself and see what your score is, where you lie, and everything that you've done, all of the preparation that you've done, how effective has it been? So we had 10 self-assessments. I'll just go through those briefly. So we had the UWSA 1, UWSA 2, which is UWorld's own self-assessment that you do. We had a free 120, an old version and a new version. We'll discuss all of this in detail in the upcoming videos. And then we had six NBMEs, which we did. So in total, we were doing 10 self-assessments throughout the month of October. Now, be aware that this self-assessment, it was in timed conditions. We tried to formulate the actual exam day uh, conditions as much as we could. Um, we were sitting there through, you know, uh, with the timers on, we were taking the amount of breaks that we were going to on the exam day. So this was exactly prepping us for that exam day that we had on the 16th of November. And then in the mornings, we would do the self-assessments afterwards. In the evenings, we would do the reviews with self-assessments. So you can't just do an assessment and leave it. There are explanations that you have to do for that as well. And you have to make sure that those concepts, uh, the ones that you're str struggling with, you are confident and you're happy with those. So that's October done. So up till this point, you world is done, self-assessments are done. We're happy with where we were standing and we were moving into November, approaching to the day of the exam, which was again, the 16th. Now, last month strategies are very important and I don't, we don't actually have the time to explain all of those right now in this video. We will be discussing in much more detail on what you can do to make that last month very, very effective for you um, to boost up your uh, chance of passing essentially. But no, November was again, the month of November, we were doing just a revision. What we were doing is we were doing U World and we were doing notes. So I've written here as well that a month prior, sorry, a week prior to the day of the exam, we did U World and we did notes revision. So U World blocks, we had reset our U World. We were on our second pass. We would just do random blocks of those, make sure we knew the answers. And the notes that I'm referring to again, back in June, July, August, when we were doing the um, blocks, we had made one liner notes for each question and we were just reviewing those right at the end because you don't have time to do anything new at this point you're just looking back and recalling it all of the stuff that you've looked at okay so this is just a rough timeline of what we did from february up till november 
this is about nine months in total and of that period I call June July August that time onwards is our dedicated months so those four five months that was when it was you know it was really serious so I'm then just going to ask you to explain okay so yes going back to July and August can you just explain these two things that I've written regarding the ECFMG registration yeah, well, they are quite self-explanatory, but I would just quickly say that in July, it was around 13th of July when we applied for our ECFMG registration. And then you have to appear in front of the notary interview where they verify that it's you. And then on 14th of August, uh, we were registering for our exam. So these are two different things. You have to uh, register for your ECFMG separately and then around one month later can be different for you you can even once you are registered with ecfmg you can book your exam the next day as well so what we did was we waited till 14th of august because we had plenty of time and we registered for the exam and the uh, and we booked our date on 14th of august so it was quite a great video i mean you um, you explained it quite comprehensively so what I, in the end I, what i would like to say is once again the this timeline can differ from person to person from university to, to university but this is just the uh, overview of what you're supposed to do uh, in your fourth year if you are planning to give your step one by the end of fourth year so thank you very much everyone for uh, for watching us and for once again for supporting us with our videos and uh, we hope to see you again soon inshallah thank you very much bye 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 bye